Hey, welcome to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One. And today we're gonna to be making a pulled pork sandwich, but instead of using a whole pork butt and smoking it and spending about six to, or six hours, I should say about 12 hours smoking it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using like country style ribs. And a lot of times if you go into the grocery store, you can find country style ribs and they're pretty inexpensive. Like this pack here was like literally three or $4. And they've got a lot of meat on them. They do have some bone in them, but you treat them just like you do a, a pork butt uh, because basically it's part of the pork shoulder and everything. So what we're gonna do is first of all, we're gonna go ahead and season these up and we're gonna put them on the grill and get them smoking. And then we'll, we'll kind of do the, treat them just like we would a pork butt, but they're gonna take half the time. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I need some kind of a binder to put on our pork and then that way we can apply some rub to them. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna use the container they came in and you can use like, a lot of times I'll use like a hot sauce to, to kind of rub the, the meat down and that kind of acts as a binder or you can even use like a spicy mustard or mustard. You can even, even use olive oil, but uh, you might as well put something with some flavor on it. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the uh, hot sauce and I'm just gonna kinda dump it on here liberally. Okay, right hand is gonna stay clean and that way, and then the left hand will be for the meat and everything. So we're gonna put that on there. And like I said, all we're looking at doing is kind of putting it on here so our rub will stick to it. We're gonna be using our typical pork rub that we use for a lot of stuff. Um, I think it's on other shows we've had recipes out there. It's got a lot of pepper, some salt, but we're just gonna apply that to it. Just like so. Okay, there's one pack done. Now we're gonna go to the next one. Like you can see that they still have part of the bone in there. So um, these are great to use. About done there. There we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and just put these on the grill. We're gonna put them on at about 255 to 260 degrees. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna let them kind of cook and, and get as much smoke in them as we possibly can. And then when they hit about an internal temp of about 160, we're gonna take them off and put them in a pan and kind of start the braising process, start break it down so you can just really pull it apart. So we're gonna go ahead and stick these on here. We're gonna take a break and when we come back, we'll take these off and we'll finish that pork pulled pork sandwich with a little bit of coleslaw to go with it. So don't go away. Trust Rogers & Associates Insurance to keep your peace of mind through all the seasons in life. Whether you're cozy at home, memory making with your family, on an outdoor adventure with the top down, floating on a boat, 
or in the middle of harvest, we can customize an insurance plan that's perfect for you. For all the seasons, we've got you covered. Call us or visit us online to learn more today. Hey, welcome back to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One. And we're outside and we're making a pulled pork sandwich, but instead of using a pork butt, we found these, these uh, reduced country style ribs at the grocery store and we're gonna use those instead. So we're just now taking them off the grill. So, and if we punch these, they should be about 160 to 150, somewhere in there which is they're done to eat, but now we need to cook them to the tenderness. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tinfoil pan and I use these for everything. So we're just gonna kind of put these in the tinfoil pan and then we need to add some liquid so we can kind of start to braise this a little bit. So you could use water, but instead of using water, we like to use something with some flavor. So I've got this thing of concentrated orange juice so we're gonna kind of put that in there. Just like so. And if we wanted to, we could add a little water as well. Because we don't quite have enough orange juice in there. I wanna make sure we have plenty of liquid. Just like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these now and we're gonna cover them. Okay, just like so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cover these real tight so it keeps the steam and everything in. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna put these back on the grill. They've already been on for about an hour and a half, maybe an hour, just until we hit that 160 mark. Now we're gonna put them in here and we're gonna let them go till they hit about 203 degrees or until I take my temperature probe and I can punch them and there's just nothing there. They feel like butter. So we're gonna go ahead and put these back on the grill. And we're gonna take a break and when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and start making the coleslaw for that. So don't go away. At Next Generation, we're working to keep kids local and you can help. Your gift of any amount provides opportunities for high school and college students to experience local careers with local businesses right here at home. Opportunities for paid internships that teach students about their local community and prepare them with hands-on job skills now so they are ready to remain local for the future. Like me in Plainville. Like me in Phillipsburg. Students like me in Wakini. The team at Homestead Assisted Living is a proud supporter of the Hayes community. Located just west of the Sternberg Natural History Museum, Homestead is a warm and welcoming community where residents receive compassionate care from licensed professionals. If you're curious about senior living options for yourself or a loved one, make Homestead your first call. Our kind and courteous staff would love to show you around and answer any questions you may have. Call us today to schedule a tour of Homestead or visit us online at homesteadofhays.com. Hey, welcome to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One. And today we're making pulled pork sandwiches and we've got our pork on the grill and you can't have a pulled pork sandwich without coleslaw. So now we're gonna go ahead and make our coleslaw. We wanna make it and we, you wanna let it set for about an hour or so and that way it kinda soaks up all that goodness. So, I'm cheating instead of cutting up a head of cabbage and everything. I just bought the old classic coleslaw mix at the grocery store. Kind of already has some of our carrots and stuff like that in there. So there's our coleslaw mix. So now let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of kick to our coleslaw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up part of a Sorrento pepper. Two. Right. 
Here we go, there's our pepper. And we're gonna try to chop it up pretty fine. This is gonna be one of those treats when you're sitting there eating, you got a nice coleslaw and pulled pork bite. Then all of a sudden this, you're gonna take a bite of one of these peppers and it'll give you a little backlash, so. Okay. There we go. Not a lot, just a little. Just so you know it's there. It's one of those things you don't have to tell anybody if you don't want to. So, okay, next thing that we wanna add is we wanna go ahead and get our mayo in there. So, now then, this mayo, a friend of mine sent me this from the south, and it's Duke's Mayonnaise. So, they say it makes the best coleslaw, and I dig it, so. And it is better than like some of the stuff you get around here. So, we got a cup of mayonnaise, And then I got to get my cheat sheet out here so I don't forget anything. We need about two tablespoons of mustard. And we're going to cheat. That's about two. Wouldn't you say? And then we need about uh, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Okay, so there's our apple cider vinegar. We need a little bit of kosher salt, which I hid it from myself. About a tablespoon of that. And then, okay, it also calls for about three tablespoons of sugar. But what I'm gonna do is, instead of using three tablespoons of sugar, I'm gonna put a little chopped pineapple in here. Okay about a half a cup of that. And then we, we'll still add a little bit of sugar, but we won't add the full three tablespoons. Okay, there we go. That's it. Now we just need to mix this up. All right, we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna kind of cover it and let it sit in the fridge for about an hour, hour and a half, all day if you want. And then when our pork is done, we'll take it out and we'll fix our pulled pork sandwich. So don't go away. What a girl wants in her home kitchen. Ease of use, flexibility, fun, the latest kitchen design, Frigidaire Professional Real Stainless Steel for fewer finger smudges, a French door refrigerator, convection cooking, and quiet dishwasher. Have the staff at Genuine Appliance and Hayes demonstrate new Frigidaire Gallery Appliances to find what you want. Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th Street in Hayes. Everything a girl wants. We've all heard what they say about us. Flyover state, middle of nowhere, a bunch of country folk, Go ahead and fly on over. There's nothing going on. Nowhere to be. And yeah, we've got a lot of hard-working, entrepreneurial, best neighbor you could ask for farm families. We're proud of Kansas, and that's why we built our entire network for it. Next Tech Wireless. Keeping Kansans connected. Try us for 30 days, risk-free. Hey, welcome back to Backyard Grilling here on Next Tech Local One, and we're about ready to finish up our pulled pork sandwich. So, we got our slaw made. It's been sitting for about an hour. Now we're about ready to take our pork off of the grill. I gave it a punch. 
We'll try it again here. Oh. Okay. So, if we punch this, we're about 200 degrees, 200, and that's even after we pulled it off. And then I wanna show you something here too. If you look, all that meat has pulled off of those bones, so we're good to go there. So, what we can do is, we could do it a couple different ways, but what I like to do is just kind of pull this apart in my roaster here. And that way it can kind of sit in my sauce. like so. Okay. Let's build our sandwich now. So, for this I got some jalapeno buns. Perfect for something like this. Put it our plate here. And then I'm going to go ahead and Grab some of my pork. Just like that. Then you can't have a pulled pork sandwich without some coleslaw on it. There you go, pulled pork sandwich. And we did it in about a quarter of the time. We cooked the meat for about, we let it smoke for about an hour and a half or so. We put it in this tin foil, we let it go for about two hours. It's cooked to about 203 degrees. It just pulled apart from the bone and everything. So that beats trying to make a pork butt for 12 hours to come up with your sandwiches and stuff. Plus, most of the time this meat's a little, it's more discounted than what the pork butt would be. So there's our sandwich. I guess I gotta try it. I wonder if I could cut a piece off. I know that's weenie of me, but otherwise it's gonna end down the front of me. Mm. Perfect. Make sure you join us for more episodes on Backyard Grilling. Check out some of our previous shows on YouTube and catch us next time.